So long as the superstition that men should obey unjust laws exists, so long will their slavery exist. And a nonviolent resistor alone can remove such a superstition. Gandhi Hind Swaraj. This is because if you try to remove that superstition by violence, you may be exhibiting, employing the opposite of the regime's politics, but you will be basing your resistance on exactly the same principle. This unfortunate uh, fact has been seen over and over again in many a revolution around the world. The reason that revolutionary change seldom leads to a long-term democratic and satisfactory result is that, again, it uses and therefore validates the same force that the oppressor has put in to begin with. But the critical thing here is that when we are oppressed by others, we have to accept that oppression for it to take place. The minute we stand up and say, you may consider me a slave, but I don't consider myself such and I'm not going to act as such, the spell is broken. 